Hello and welcome to my 11th tutorial on how to create your own RuneScape private server. Um, in this video I'm going to be explaining what compiling is and how to compile. This should have actually been explained quite early uh, on in my tutorial series, but I assumed that you already knew and I did actually show you how to compile, I think, in that real long boring second video, which is all about making web client, which personally I would not watch because it's boring. But I've already got a wet plank, so just ignore that. Um, anyway, uh, if you are asking yourself, or if you ask in general, what is compiling, then 99% of the time, nothing you change in your whole source will ever like come into effect. So what compiling does is it pretty much makes what you change in your files actually run on your source. So what it actually does by like technical terms, and I think this is correct, is it changes... Whoops. What did I just do? I don't know what I just did. Oh, okay. It changes all your .javas into .classes, which is pretty much what how the um, source reads it. So as you notice, if you go bin com rs, it's exactly the same as source com rs. Just everything has the .class extension. If you can't see extensions, you need to go organize, folder search options, view, and then uh, uncheck the hide extension file types. So if I do that, it did not disappear. Okay, that's not what I you meant to do then. Don't worry about it. Um, well, it should be hide extensions. I don't know. I didn't work then, but yeah, it should do that. It should work. But anyway, um, to change it, go into your source folder and you'll see compiler.bat. Now, by default, it will look like this. This says C program files Java JDK 1.7.0-04. This is a version of JDK which you probably need, or that or higher possibly, but you need JDK 1.7 to compile it. Now, by default, my computer is already set up like this, so I have JDK 1.7. yada 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 in this right path. So, for the sake of this video, I changed it to 03, which is not in that path. So, if you are getting this message, when you double click compiler.bat, and it says the system cannot find the path specified, this means it is not working, and nothing, and it hasn't actually compiled. Even though it says it's compiled the player folder, it isn't. Okay, so what it means by the system cannot find the path specified, is if you right click compiler and click edit, it means that this thing inside the little quote marks, it cannot find. So I type up here, and go control paste, enter, it cannot find that. It's because you don't have the correct JDK. So if you go into this, well I'll actually show you a different way, go computer, <coughs> C, and then C drive, then go program files, Java, you have all your JDKs that you have installed. It could possibly be in program files 86, and then down in Java, it all depends just how your um, computer works, but I'm pretty sure 99% of the time your computer will install, install JDKs in your just normal program files. So. See how I have 1.7.0 blah 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 4. This, it says when we edit the compiler that it's looking for 0 0.3. I don't have 0 0.3, so I either need to change this to 0 0.4, or I need to download 0 0.4. It's probably better to change it to 0 0.4, I mean, download 0 0.4, but if you don't have, uh, or if you can't download 0 0.4, just try and change it to the closest JDK 1.7 version that you have but I'm pretty sure you'll need either 4 or above. So that one might work, JDK 1.79 could possibly work. But anyway, for the sake of this video, I'm just going to do that. So after I've changed all that to the correct um, version of JDK, just save it. And then when you double click compiler, it should run. I'll get a heaps of errors, but that's just because I've edited something in a file that does not make sense. And so it, it, it gives me heaps and heaps of errors. But if you know you're getting errors, or if it says um, successfully compiled something folder, then it means you're doing it right. So don't worry about it. Hopefully that helped you. Uh, if it didn't, then just leave a com uh, leave a comment of what you need help with. Please give more detail than just I need help, as saying I need help does not really allow me to help you much at all. So use use um I don't know just. Can you give me more info if you need help? And the best way to get a faster reply is to inbox me instead of commenting. So hopefully that helped you. 
and I am back since I bought a new microphone. So, yay. Woo. See, 